We train to have mastery of our own mind. Hey, what's up everybody? This is Jared, I'm here with Jai. Uh, what we're about to go, to go over right now is just kind of the ideal positioning on a push-up. And when I say ideal, I'm talking about a, a, a position where not only will you be able to accomplish push-ups, but it'll translate to any other pressing movement you might do any other time, be it a ring dip, um, later on as we get further into this challenge, we might be doing some handstand push-ups, also any type of pressing overhead. So we want to be able to build that base and that foundation, which will allow us to transfer that ability and that strength to other movements. So what Jai is going to do, he's going to set up in a plank. Um, and now ideally, if you're comfortable with this, put your feet together, squeeze your heels together, squeeze your quads, you're going to create more tension through your torso and your core. And then you want your hands basically right under your armpits. Then what Jai is going to do is he's going to kind of screw his humerus into his shoulder socket and rotate his biceps forward. What this is going to allow him to do is hinge at his elbow and keep a vertical forearm and his whole body is going to kind of shift forward and down. And then he gets his chest to the ground and he drives and presses up. One thing with push-ups, sometimes people throw their necks up. Imagine you've got a grapefruit between your chin and your sternum so your head is nice and straight. This is going to help keep your core even more stable. And this position not only keeps your core in a better position, it puts your shoulders in a better position. It also helps you just press more through your pecs. It's also going to get your triceps a little bit more as well. Um, I guess Jai's just going to keep doing these as long as I'm talking. Uh, one other thing while you're doing these is really focus on your breathing. Uh, I know Brittany's also talked about, like, think about pushing the ground away. So when you're at the top of that plank, inhale, get your core tight, just squeeze the crap out of everything. Lower yourself down, exhale and punch the ground like you're mad at it. All right, and this is just gonna help build up that strength and that foundation for any other pressing movement. Now, if feet together is too challenging to start off with, give yourself a wider base. You think about points of contact on the ground. By putting your feet together, you have three points. If you go wider, you have four. So it's gonna make it a little bit easier in terms of balance and stability. And then as you get stronger, you get more comfortable, try to bring your feet closer together. One other thing, I know some of the other coaches have talked about going from your knees, and that's fine. You just want to really focus on still emphasizing the tight core. One thing, let's say you have one of these mini bands. This is going to allow you to kind of get full range of motion. So if I give this to Jai, and he throws this around his, the base of his triceps on each arm, it's going to do two things. One, it's going to lock your elbows right into your side to really reinforce that position. And then two, it's going to give a little bit of assistance and a little bit of bounce out of the bottom of that push-up. So if you just get a light mini band, you'll find that it helps kind of snap you back up. And this will help allow you to get to those 100 reps, because that's a big number. All right. Oh, I feel the assistance there. Yeah, it really, it really shoots you up. Yeah. All right. Good stuff. 40 days of strength. Let's get it. You got it.